everyone, my name is Eliza and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be delivering you guys good news. Today I will be telling you about some of the best books that I read in 2018. None of these books are necessarily were published in 2018, they are just books that I read in 2018. For 2018 it was a bit difficult to find some books to fill the best books list. I didn't have that much success in reading last year. Thankfully I have seven books I can tell you guys about briefly that I enjoyed reading. I won't necessarily be telling you guys the synopsis of each book because this would take way too long. Now these books I will be telling you guys about either got a three or four stars. The first book I want to tell you guys about which was one of my favorites and that book was Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. This is a new adult fantasy book that definitely surprised me. It has romance evolved as you can tell by the cover. I thought this was going to be over the top romance which I guess it was but it really didn't annoy me that much. This book really hit the ground running on the story and there wasn't much of an introduction because I feel like in a lot of books the first 15-10% of the book is just introducing the characters and everything but this book just started right at the adventure. I definitely say that I have not read a book with this kind of plot and plot twist. I was actually surprised how well written this book was. I didn't think it was going to be that good actually because at least for me romance books are really hard for me to win me over but I just loved how innocent this book was in its own way and it, because I feel like you don't really hear about that in books that often it's usually the other way around and so I really liked reading something different. It's something that you could easily fly through which was one of the books that I flew through this last year. And there was definitely a twist at the very beginning of the book that I somehow did not catch when I read the synopsis. So if you like romance, new adult, fantasy, and a twist, this is the book for you. And this is the first book in the four Horseman series. So I am very excited to read that and actually if you wanted to you could read this book as a standalone. The next book that was one of the top books that I read in 2018 was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Now in the past I had heard so much about this book and so many people love this book. I kind of waited until the whole wave went down with people talking about it and I decided to audiobook this book. I live in the Midwest, specifically more towards Chicago, so I do hear about shootings quite a bit. This, if you're not aware what this book is about, it's about a character who is with a friend and a cop ends up shooting her friend who was no threat to the police officer. We hear about stuff like this quite a bit because so many crazy things are happening these days. I was very much prepared for this book because this is a heavy topic. I thought that the author did a exceptionally well job writing this book. It was very different from other books I have read because I, I mainly stay in YA but I don't think I have read a YA book that has covered a topic that is very heavy topic needs to be discussed. I really do understand why this book has been hyped so much because it lives up to the hype. I would hands down recommend reading this book. It will open your eyes. The next book that I will be telling you guys about, I picked up this book in the library I believe and this book was out of the norm for my normal reading and that book was I Was Told to Come Alone by Saad McKennett. This author is a journalist. She has risked her life to talk to people. She has opened my eyes very much to issues and interviews she has had with people. You don't really realize some of these issues until someone from a different standpoint expresses them and then you realize that that's very true. The reason why I've read this book is because I've always really enjoyed travel and also while traveling 
trying to tell a story at the same time whether it is through photography or writing. During the experience that journalists and specifically Saad's experiences really opened my eyes and she is a very very strong woman. She has risked her life to tell the truth. The next book that I will be telling you guys about will not come to a surprise and that book was Iron Gold by Pierce Brown. This is the fourth book in the Red Rising saga. First First off, I only thought that there was going to be three books in this series, but then we found out that the fourth book was being made. Now I'm always weary when a author decides to re-pick up a series because it's either a hit or miss. This book was definitely a hit. This book takes place a few years after the previous book and the characters are older now, they have aged a bit. But also, there's some new characters involved. This is a very, very complex book that is so well written. It will always be, hands down, one of my favorite book series. If you guys have not read Red Rising, you should read it. It is a book that I always recommend to anyone who likes sci-fi or just really good writing. The next book that I really enjoyed in the beginning of 2018 was The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This was one of those books that just overnight when it came out it just everyone was talking about it. Twitter blew up. This is a fey world type of book with so many imaginative magical outfits that are to die for. Essentially the main character is told to be a spy and trying to make something not happen or happen. Who knows? It's definitely YA. I thought it was a really good book. It was not towards the extreme hype that some people would thought, but I still thought it was a good book. And the world and the outfits pretty and just if you love fantasy, you would just absolutely love the outfits the author describes. Next book that I read, which I won't tell you guys too much about because you probably already know what it's about, and that book is Jurassic Park by Michael Creighton. I have been a lifelong fan of Jurassic Park. So I finally decided to read the first book and I was very satisfied. Essentially this book is about people going to an island and experiencing this world that this person has created which involves recreating dinosaurs. I was kind of nervous because I didn't know how different the movie and book was going to be. I was very much satisfied. If you like sci-fi, thriller, dinosaurs chasing people, I would recommend this book. Or even if you really enjoyed the Jurassic Park movies. And the last book that I enjoyed this last year which was a shocker to me. I didn't think I was going to read this last year and that book was To All the Boys I Have Loved Before by Jenny Han. The only reason why I read this book was because I was on Twitter and all of a sudden people were constantly talking about some Netflix movie. And I was thinking, I, I recognized the title. I was like, I think I have that book on my TBR. So instead of reading the book, and then watching. I watched the movie. I loved the movie. So I audiobooked the book. I typically don't read any more coming of age high school books. Because I just kind of passed that. I really enjoyed this book and I thought it was such a sweet and cute book. To this day I'm still shocked about. Essentially this girl had written notes while growing up to her crushes and had saved them and then her little sister just sends them out to all the guys. If you really like a contemporary cutesy romance book, I would suggest this book. And those were all of the books that I really liked in 2018. I'm sorry, I'm just really tired. I don't think I've talked about that many books at once in a long time. I hope that that has been insightful in some way, even though I can only really give really brief descriptions. And surprisingly enough, all these books were very much in different types of genres and categories, which I'm very proud of because usually I feel like it's all just fantasy. I would love to know if you guys enjoyed any of these books last year or what your favorite book was that you read last year. If you like this video hit that thumbs up button down below and if you want to subscribe to my channel just hover on my face and hit subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!